Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick introduction to the Amazon Basics uh, 1500 VA uh, computer UPS. Um, now, the reason why I wanted to do a quick video on this is this particular UPS is very, very cheap. Um, at the moment on Amazon, I believe it's sitting at just under £100. And historically, at least fairly recently, back in August 2011, um, it went for £56. Now, this this UPS is capable of, um, I believe it's it, it's uh, max wattage it can it can supply is about nine hundred watts, which for most people is pretty much um, more than enough um, supply to basically pause whatever it is you're doing, shut down uh, without any concern. Now, if you push past nine hundred watts, um, what will happen is the device will start beeping at you, and it will give you. I believe it's about 20, 30 seconds to shut down. Now you can't exceed it too far, um, otherwise you, you do risk damaging your components. But essentially, if you are, you know, if you're a gamer and you're you're running some, you know, he, you know, heavy hardware, then you've got that little bit of breathing room to shut down. Now um, the display itself, when you basically on the, on the front of the panel, you can see the input VAC and the output VAC alongside on the bottom right hand side you've got the load indicator and then the amount of power the machine's got left the battery pack's got left um, it's all pretty self-explanatory when you plug it into your your computer it almost acts like a laptop battery um, the whole process is pretty much seamless uh, on the Mac it, it, it just shows up as a, a standard battery and on Windows it does the same they're both uh, intelligent and enough to know that um, if for some reason you have power outage or the battery's running low, it will automatically shut down your machine. You don't need any sort of third party hardware or otherwise. Now on the back, if I can take this easily, you've got a fairly simple system. So this is using the EU style, I don't know how you pronounce it, like the Shuku uh, sockets or something or other. Um, and it's cheap enough to just buy one of these little adapters that clicks in um, and you can also get extension cords uh, so you can run as much hardware as you want really within within its capacity uh, then you've got the standard USB I believe it's type B uh, that will basically kind of hooks into your machine uh, I don't think anyone uses telephony anymore so but you do have that capability if you want um, now on startup the fan is uh, a bit a bit noisy as you can probably hear um, but after say 10 minutes if, you've, if there's no sort of major load um, it quietens down and it, it essentially becomes silent um, the beeping you can hear is essentially it's uh, most UPSs do this actually it will beep more and more frequently the closer it gets to running out of power uh, all my uh, APC UPSs do the exact same thing um, so going back to price I mean if you were to try and buy the equivalent AP, uh, APC UPS you'd be talking much closer to 150 150 mark um, so you know you've got quite a lot of uh, value for money there um, I don't know I presume like uh, most of the other sort of consumer oriented um, battery yeah, sorry UPS's it's just simply running um, t basically a bunch of 12 volt um, batteries in, in, in series or in parallel I think uh, which basically should mean that when the the batteries are sort of no longer uh, able to sort of maintain the load they're easy enough to swap out so I'm going to play around with this I might do a follow-up um, uh, I'll hook it up to my machine and see maybe show you a little bit more of what happens when you kill the power but uh, but for now um, definitely recommend it it's a, a nice little unit um, it's fairly compact as you can probably tell I think it's about 50 centimeters in length um, but that should fit under most desks you know quite happily so yep um, as I mentioned, it's just on Amazon. Let me just get rid of that out of the way. Um, just on Amazon, so yeah, easy to get. Um, I definitely keep an eye, maybe stick a price watcher on there uh, and see if you can get it for a bit of a bargain basement. And also, pro tip, check out Amazon Warehouse as well because that's always a bit of a bargain, uh, a hunt for bargains, uh, which is always great. Cool, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's a great little unit. Um, yeah. Let me know if you've got any questions. Signing off.